Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Gabriel Santos, a celebrity super chef and an example of the immunity granted by wealth and public life. He has evaded any consequences to his career following a stream of assaults on assistants, producers and staff. The target will be in Paris providing luxury catering for Viktor Novikov and Dalia Mogolis and will have an entourage of social media producers and assistants around him at all times. The client, a former investor in Santos's production company, specifically requests that the target be eliminated tonight. So, our operational window is slim. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Free 2244 and this is the Elusive Target taking place in Paris called The Chef. And I'm going to be showing you two methods of this one. One of them is going to be using the electrocution phone, which is real quick. You can do in about a minute or so. And uh, the longer technique is the one I'm going to be about to show you. So timestamps are going to be on the screen. So for method two, uh, follow that timestamp on the screen. But for method one, we're going to bring along the lethal pills. And that is pretty much all you're going to need. And you can get the use the lethal pills or the lethal poison vial. If you don't have either of those, you can dress as Helmut Kruger on this map and then go and meet Dahlia Margolis and she will have the lethal poison pills on her. Alternatively, just trank her and she will drop the lethal poison pills in there as well. So if you don't have either of those, there's a solution for you. But for this method, what we need to do is go and grab the VIP pass for the party that's going up, the meeting, I should say, the, uh, the auction that's going on upstairs. The Iago auction. And uh, once we've done that, we're going to show the pass to these uh, two people here at the door. And all as well as that, we're going to show them up the, the people at the stairs. And then we need to head to the uh, the second floor. Because upstairs there's going to be some a catering table. I'm going to have to poison some caviar. And it really, it's just that simple. It's really straightforward. I mean, you could spawn in the, uh, the AV center if you wanted to as well. That another would be would make this even faster, but you still have to wait around a considerable amount a considerable amount of time. So it doesn't really matter where you spawn. I'm just gonna shut these doors on the left as well, just in case anyone could potentially see. Shut these doors here as well. And we're gonna take this guy out here, the auction staff member. Then we're gonna drag his body and dump him in the closet that's in the same room. What we're going to do then is going to grab his disguise just to make this a little bit more easier. Then once we've done that, we're going to go ahead to the go up to the caviar and poison the caviar. Once we've done that, we're going to go back and put our suit back on. And uh, now you can head to any exit you wish to choose. I'm gonna go back to the main entrance and just wait there, but uh, that's essentially it. Like I said, this is the easiest, one of the easiest elusive targets we've ever had. Um, it's a bit of a shame if this is gonna be the last legacy elusive target. The last one was supposed to be the last legacy elusive target, but they decided to add another one, which is the chef, which is a very poor elusive target overall to end on, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I feel like they should have ended on a, a decent one, like the twins or something like that in Sapienza, or. Maybe one of the Hokkaido ones people keep uh, talking about requesting, like the surgeons or something like that. But, you know, it is what it is. They ended, decided to end up on the chef, and uh, this is what we've been, get, been doing. So, this is the strategy for it. It's very, very simple, very straightforward. But essentially, from this point, you just got to wait a long time. Um, it's a random amount of time. It can take up to about 20 minutes. In some cases, I've seen people from season one ended up waiting for about half an hour. Because it's, it's random where he actually walks around, but he does eventually go to that location, and he does eventually take a sample of that caviar. What I really think that IO Interactive should consider is we have 26 elusive targets from Season 1, I think 6 elusive targets from Hitman 2. They should just basically cycle the elusive targets from week to week basis now. Or just put them all in the game and let everyone play it any time they want now at this point. At least the targets are incredibly stale. Uh, they have no value anymore. And for the people that only had Hitman 2, they can't even get all the suits that uh, that were listed as rewards because it's just simply not enough suits. Uh, not enough, sorry, looser targets, I should say. So for the poor people that didn't actually have um, the legacy packs, they have to suffer, which is a shame. 
so it's just not really fair on them sort of people so I really do think they should um, I don't know maybe give the legacy pack away for free I don't know or it's basically just make sure make I don't know really a solution to it just give them let, let, let everyone have uh, another chance at these elusive tires because at the end of the day what's the point of recycling them and re, uh, re putting them out if you've only got one chance of doing them anyway like the only the yeah they're going to reactivate them in the new year in 2020 but what's the point because the only people that can play them are the people that have missed the loser targets if you've already completed it or you failed it you can't have another go that's that's it which i just don't see the point of it anymore I used to. I used to see a point to it. I mean, when he was actually back, when he was actually elusive, when he only had 48 hours to complete an elusive target, and uh, and the elusive targets were a lot more rare when you have one every like two months or so. Now, they're like two or three a month. Legacy ones only, which is this is the third time of me doing the chef. It's uh, at this point you just think, what's the point? You know, it's, there's no special. Doesn't really have a special feel to lose the targets anymore. I used to be buzzing for elusive target days. I used to stream these elusive targets, to try and figure out strategies for them. I used to actually just. Uh, it used to be fun, and when you used to watch the elusive target, it used to give you the chills because you know it's it's really cool and exciting to finally work out this elusive target. So if you mess up, you know you've only got one chance, kind of thing. But I don't know. It's just it's just lost its. Uh, it's just lost its um, excitability, I suppose. But yeah, there's nothing really exciting about this loser tower. We just literally just gotta wait here. But uh, yeah, let's just fuck it. Let's just skip it. So there we go. At least we can actually see it this time, as he's phases through a woman's body. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've got to wait another few seconds before we can exit. And then we need to go. They did have that glitch last year, uh, where you couldn't exit straight away. Otherwise, you would lose your son assassin rating. So I'm glad that's not a thing anymore, because that, that made a lot of people uh, lose out on Assassin Racing, which is a real shame. But yeah, this is one of the easiest elusive targets we've ever done. And again, it's a bit of a shame that we've actually ended up on uh, a elusive target that is bad. But never mind, we have a new elusive target to look forward to in a couple of weeks or so, so we, we can always uh, live stream that if, uh, if you guys want to see that. So, moving on to method 2, we're going to start undercover in the kitchen, which you unlock at mastery level 2. And we're going to bring on the electrocution firm, which you unlock after completing three mission stories in the bank. From the very start, the chef will spawn in the kitchen. He will either go out the door to the left, or he will come over to this area over here. All you've got to do is just literally place the, the phone on the floor. And as soon as you see that question mark above his head, you know that he is the one that's going to pick it up. Just go ahead and ring it straight away, and that will take care of itself for an accident kill. Alternatively, if you are worried about uh, getting spotted on the way out for whatever reason, then just wait until you get to an exit before pulling that trigger. So it's literally that easy when it comes to the electrocution phone method. Like I said, with this, um, with some of these things that we have in the game, it's making the game a hell of a lot easier than it used to be. It used to be a lot more exciting back in the day when we had um, limited options and we didn't always have the poison as an option. So as soon as, the, as soon as we saw a poison as an option for elusive target, it was a bit of a, an easy way out of it. But um, I like the elusive targets where it made you think a little bit more about, think a bit more out of the box for it. But when we've got the electrocution phone and the tranquilizers and stuff like that, it thinks, makes things a little bit more easier. You don't have to use these items uh, to make it more exciting for you, but it's up, completely up to you, whatever you want to do. But uh, I've shown you two methods there. I could show you the, the whole thing with the Helmet Kruger, but that will be very long to do, and I don't think um, I don't think many people are going to be have you're going to go without the poison anyway. So that's just my three methods, uh, my two methods, I should say. But that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out, and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. Shout out to Argel, The Shafe, and uh, Nico Senpai for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members of the channel. I really do appreciate the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.